What does the pilot of a helicopter, the motorcycle rider, and the bicycle rider have in common? Well, the answer is quite simple. They have two main responsibilities. First, they must make certain that their machines are in perfect mechanical condition at all times. The bicycle is about 150 years old today. Its ancestor, the hobby horse, was propelled by kicking the ground with both feet. Let's see what are some of the things that you can do to keep your bicycle in good repair. Adjust the saddle correctly and tighten. Position the handlebars to fit your size and make sure that the stem is far enough down in the fork for safety and is tightened securely. Replace worn handlebar grips and cement them on firmly. Loose grips may cause you to take a nosedive. Be sure that your horn or bell works properly and that it can be heard for at least a hundred feet. If you do any riding at night, your bicycle must have a white headlight visible at least 500 feet ahead in the dark. And a red reflector in the rear, which should always be kept clean. Red reflector tape is also an added safety measure. Mechanical failure can cause serious accidents. A weak link in the chain may cause a bad spill. One of the most important things to check is your brake. Whether it is a hand brake or a coaster brake, always make sure it is properly adjusted. Good pedals are important for control over your bicycle. Lubricate and tighten pedal bearings and spindle and replace worn treads which may cause your foot to slip off the pedal in an emergency. Your chain is your power transmission. Keep it clean by washing it with kerosene. Oil the link frequently and keep it at the right tension, not too tight, just enough to keep it from jumping off the sprockets. A slipping chain can easily cause injury to the rider. Be sure all the spokes of the wheels are tight and replace broken ones at once. Missing or loose spokes can cause damage to the rim and be dangerous. Check to see that your wheels are properly lined up between the forks so that the tires and rims do not rub. Always keep your tires inflated with the correct air pressure and see that they are not worn beyond safety. Remember, a well-kept bicycle is a safe bicycle. The second thing common to the motorcycle rider and the bicycle rider is that they should know the safety rules and traffic laws that must be followed before riding on the streets. Police officers go to school to learn how to ride their motorcycles. Just like the police officers learn to be expert motorcycle riders in a special training area, so should you learn to ride your bicycle in a safe spot away from traffic after you have learned the bicycle rules. When you begin to ride your bicycle, ride slowly until you become used to it and your muscles are limbered up. To be a good rider, it is important that you know the correct riding position. With the pedal in its down position, your leg should be slightly bent when the ball of your foot is placed on the treads. That is the right way to pedal and it makes riding your bike easier and safer. Be sure to pedal evenly. Rhythm is what counts. You should lean slightly forward when you grip the handlebars. Keep your shoulders steady and don't wobble. And keep your knees in parallel to the frame. Before you ride your bicycle, learn the traffic laws and regulations and know how to obey them at all times. In general, the rules for the bike rider are the same as for the motorist. In the same way that the motorist must give arm signals for turning, so must the bicycle rider. All arm signals are given with the left arm. For a right turn, the arm is bent, pointing straight up. A left turn must be made with extreme caution, always watching for traffic. Give your arm signal well in advance. 
For a left turn, the arm is held straight out from the shoulder. Remember always to drive with both hands on the handlebars except when you are giving your arm signal. If it is necessary for you to ride in heavy traffic and you wish to make a left turn at a busy intersection, stop, get off your bike, and wait for a new green light. Look to the left, to the right, and to the rear before walking your bicycle across the street. And wait there to cross to the left side, again with the green light. The proper arm signal for slowing down or stopping is the left arm pointed down. Always stop when you see this sign. When you ride on the street with friends, stay in single file. Keep to the right and avoid riding on the sidewalk. Stay a safe following distance behind all vehicles. The expert bike rider doesn't speed, show off, or hitch rides. Ride alone on your bike. Carrying other riders can be dangerous. Give pedestrians the right of way that is both safe and courteous. And yield to automobiles crossing your path. When you carry books, help with the shopping or run errands, use a luggage rack or a carrying basket for packages, making sure to place them in such a way that they do not obstruct your view or make riding difficult. When you come out of an alley or private driveway onto the street, always slow down and stop completely before going on. If there are cars parked on the street on which you are riding, Always watch for car doors being suddenly opened or automobiles pulling out into traffic. Sometimes the road presents special hazards and you must ride extra carefully. When the street is wet, for example, it may be slippery and unless you are cautious, you may go into a skid. Cross streetcar tracks with caution and at an angle so as not to catch your wheels in the ruts. This is where the police department keeps the bicycles that are lost. But there's an easy way for you to keep your bicycle from ending up here should it ever be lost or stolen. In most cities, you can license and register your bicycle, just like the licensing of an automobile. Any police officer will tell you how. A license is cheap insurance and it helps the police to find and return lost and stolen bicycles. If you can't license your bicycle in your city, take down the frame serial number of your bike and keep it in a safe place. And when you leave your bicycle parked anywhere, be sure you have a lock on it. Always park your bicycle in a safe place. Never leave it in a driveway or you may not be able to enjoy your bicycle for long. The good bike rider is easy to recognize. He makes sure his bicycle is always in perfect mechanical condition. He learns how to ride and knows all the bicycle rules and traffic laws before riding on the streets. He rides on the right side of the street and doesn't speed, stunt, or take foolish chances. He shows extra care in traffic, especially at busy intersections. He is considerate of pedestrians. And he always locks his bicycle. Keep in mind what you have learned here with the motorcycle officer about bicycling. Try to reflect credit upon yourself, your parents, your school, and your community. Remember, the bicycle rider of today is the automobile driver of tomorrow.